strategies to achieve that. Question number four, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question to the Minister of Finance and asks, is it his intention that from 1 April 2018, an individual on the average wage with no children will pay $1,060 more in personal income tax than they would do from that date under the law as it currently stands. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Grant Robertson. It is my intention that no one, including an individual on the average wage with no children, will be paying more personal income tax on 1 April 2018 than they are today. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr. Speaker, there was a question on notice laid down very clearly on which I asked yes. the minister. And, and, and I, I, I think the minister will have another go. Well, point of order, Mr. Speaker. Uh, is the member's not going to dispute my ruling? Mr. Mr. Speaker, the question asks for the minister's intention. He gave his intention. Yes, no. It was his, it was his intention in a specific on a specific matter with a specific question on notice. The Honourable Grant Robertson. Mr. Speaker, it is my intention that no one, including an individual on the average wage with no children, will be paying more personal income tax on 1 April 2018 than they are today. The government is going to reverse the previous government's proposed tax cuts that have not yet come into force in order to pay for a fairer, more targeted package that will lift the incomes of many thousands of New Zealanders. Point of order. A point of order, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I listened to that answer very clearly well. and carefully, and it didn't refer to the law as it currently stands, it referred to a range of other things, yes, and, and it and does have a specific and question which is about the law as it currently stands. The, the, uh, I, I think if the member, any reasonable member listening to the answer uh, will understand uh, the response. Joe Luxton, supplementary question. Tell the House, under the tax package due to come into force on 1st of April, what proportion of the benefits go to the top 10 per cent of earners? Oh, Mr Speaker, uh, the top 10 per cent of earners would benefit to the tune of $440 million a year out of the $2.5 billion package, in percentage terms nearly 20 per cent going to the top 10 per cent. This is unfair and it's why the government will reverse those tax cuts and replace them with a fairer package. Point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm sure it hasn't escaped your notice that the Minister found it much easier to refer to the actual law as it currently stands to the supplementary question than he was able to to the primary question. And could I ask you again, and perhaps I could repeat the primary question, to get him to respond to the law as it currently stands, as he proved able to in his supplementary answer? No. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Uh, Speaker's rule. Uh, Simon yeah. Bridges, would, would the member like the floor? Well, the member, the member will call for a point of order, and, and he will get recognised. The honourable Thank Stephen you, Mr. Speaker. Speaking to the, uh, the Madam Mr. Speaker, I think Speaker's ruling 1664 is the point here, which makes very clear that the Speaker will back members absolutely uh, when it's a primary question that seeks information. And I think the point Mr. Joyce makes is, or Mr. Joyce makes, is absolutely well, right. No, the, the, member, the, member now, the member will now resume his seat, um, and, and as a member, will be absolutely aware. Um, we are well past that. I'm now actually all I'm doing now is asking because we've had the primary, we've had two attempts at the, at the um, answer, the second one which I found a satisfactory addressing of the question. Uh, we've had another supplementary question and an answer. So we, we, we're not going to go back and relitigate the primary again. Now, if, if Mr. Joyce would like to ask another supplementary who can, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, thank you. In light of the answer to that supplementary question, can I ask the Minister again, is it his intention that from 1 April 2018, an individual on the average wage with no children will pay $1,060 more in personal income tax than they would do from that date under the law as it currently stands. Mr Speaker, we intend to reverse the tax cuts that are in the law as it currently stands. Supplementary. A supplementary question, the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, to the Minister, can he confirm that 1.2 million people are better off from April 1 next year under the law 
as it currently stands and was supported by three of the four parties, five parties in Parliament, National Greens and New Zealand First. And those people would benefit and they won't benefit if the tax changes were reversed. Mr Speaker, no. Question. No, it's supplementary. Supplementary question, the Honourable Speaker. Uh, Mr Speaker, can he confirm that single people with no children, families with growing up children and young couples with no children starting out will all be worse off under his proposals for personal taxation? Mr Speaker, no, I can't confirm that. What I can, what I can confirm to the member is that on this side of the House, we don't think that him and me should get $1,000 a year extra when there are children growing up in cars and garages. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. Leaving aside the talking points, does he consider people on the average wage? Order. Order. The member will resume his seat. And, and what, we're, what we're going to do, and we have had a bit of a discussion about this, is we're going to not have the prefaces. I'm trying to stop ministers. I'm trying to stop ministers making uh, gratuitous comments at the beginning of their answers. And I think I'm having quite a lot of success by, in comparison. But I also that's based on the opposition doing the same. Point of order. The Honourable Dr McSmith. Uh, my colleague uh, Stephen Joyce asked a very specific question about the tax income impacts on people that didn't have children. Uh, the Minister chose not to answer that and instead to have a cheap shot at the personal circumstances of two members in the House, but did not answer the question. Order. Order. For my colleague Order. The, the member will resume his seat. The mem member should know what the rules are around questions and addressing them by now. Is there a further supplementary, Mr Joyce? Uh, to the Minister, does he consider people on the average wage should be paying a marginal tax rate of 30 cents in the dollar? Mr Speaker, uh, people on the average wage will pay no more personal income tax on the 1st of April than they do today. A supplementary, uh, the Honourable Julianne Gentle. Oh, sorry, point of order or a supplementary? Supplementary. A, a point of order, Stephen Joyce. Um, yes, uh, sorry to prolong things, Mr Speaker, but again, that question I don't believe was even addressed. I uh, raised the question of does he think people on the average wage should be paying a marginal tax rate of 30 cents in the dollar? He didn't respond to that question at all. Yes, yes that is a fair point of order. Mr Speaker, uh, people on the average wage will be paying the same effective marginal tax rate on the 1st of April than they are today. So if the Minister thinks that that's unfair, it's unfair under him as it's unfair under me. Well, I, I, remind, I will remind the, the fact that, Mr Robertson, you are the Minister and he is the member. Stephen, uh, supplementary question, Julianne Genta. Uh, the, the, well, I'm sorry, but the minister just repeated the previous answer. So you, 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 uh, you no, ruled no, that he, it no, was. You no, ruled no, that I he was entitled. No, the member resumed his seat. The member did much better this time than he did the previous one. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Julian Ten Agui, Mr. Speaker. Can the minister confirm that all New Zealanders will be better off if we properly fund infrastructure and public services, unlike the previous Mr. government? Speaker. <laughs> right. Any further supplementaries? The Honourable Stephen so, Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, to the Minister, can he firm, confirm that his legislation to take $1,060 from April the 1st of next year of New Zealand workers on the average wage is being dealt with under urgency as closely as possible to Christmas in the vain hope that those workers won't notice the $1,060 disappearing. <laughs> Mr Speaker, I can't confirm anything in the member's question other than to say that during the election campaign this issue was covered very, very thoroughly indeed. And New Zealanders will know that from the 1st of April they will be paying the same personal income tax they do today, but that they've got a government that actually cares about lifting kids out of poverty. A point of order, um, the Honourable Simon Bridges. Uh, uh, Speaker's ruling 1798. Mr Speaker, replies should be concise, which means they should be short not only in terms of the number of the words, but right. also the, non the member, needed. The member will now, resu now resume a seat. That was a very political question. It was quite long and it got a response which I thought was medium length. 
uh, and about the same degree of politicisation. I had enough of the member carrying on. <laughs> Question number five. Mr Speaker. Willow Jean Prime. To the Minister of Finance, 